Hi, I'm John Fritzke, and I'm the assistant principal here at the Byram Intermediate School, and I'm here with four amazing students, Autumn, Josephine, Josh, and Jacob. And we're going to tell you about some of the cool things going on this week at the Byram Intermediate School. Hi, I'm Josephine from fifth grade, and in Language Arts with Miss Garrity, we just finished watching the movie and reading the book, The Sign of the Beaver, and we also just finished working on our cubing activity story maps. What's that? It's where you can either choose a side from a cube or roll the cube to see what it lands on, and then you work on it, and you write about like what happened in the story, whatever the subject is, like the setting, you would write down Matt's cabin. Very cool. And explain the, like, what the cabin looks like. Cool. And in Science with Mr. Morris, we're learning about the Earth's atmosphere. How many layers? There's four layers in the atmosphere, and, we j and we're also working on a project so there's four groups, and everybody gets their own layer. Very cool. And in keyboarding and writing with Miss Fermender, we just finished our animal PowerPoints, and we're now working on a worksheet with a question about any PowerPoint or an interesting fact that you learned about a PowerPoint. Thanks so much, Josephine. Hi, my name is Autumn from 6th grade, and in Miss Hooker's class in math, we're learning about percentages of a number and tax. So it's like if you go shopping, you can figure out the amount of tax you'll have to pay? Yeah. Very cool. And then in Mrs. Pierce's class, we're learning, in language arts, we're learning about uh, argument writing. And what and was the article you had to read for we're argument writing? We're re reading about um, if New York City's horses are fair for the horses or not. And which side did you take? I did pro because then um, if they weren't at New York City, they would, might have been dead. And the people who drive the horses, they might lose their jobs, too. Very so. cool. Thanks. What, and what special and, did you want to talk our, to us about? Um, we're learning, we're doing projects, and we did a clay sculpture project, and I did ice cream, and I painted mine pink for, like, strawberry ice cream. Very cool. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Josh, and I'm in seventh grade, and in Mr. Best class for geography, we're learning about World War II and the Holocaust. Uh, we watched a video on Holocaust survivors and the horrible things they had to go through. Thank and, you. And biology with Miss Lepis, we learned how to extract DNA from a cell. We did an experiment where you, like, crushed up a strawberry, then filtered it out, and put it in a test tube with cold ethanol, and the ethanol separates the DNA, and then you spool it out. So you're able to extract the actual DNA from a strawberry? Yeah. Very cool. And in uh, home ec, we made Irish soda bread on St. Patrick's Day. And no. Josh did not bring me any. No. Do you know my Irish, Josh? No. So next year, Irish soda bread, okay? Thanks. I, I, I thought it was okay. Okay, thanks. Hi, I'm Jacob, and I'm in eighth grade. In science, we're learning about force and gravity and how they affect objects that are in motion. And what was the experiment that you guys did? Um, uh, someone would stand on a lab table and they would drop a baseball and a ping pong ball from equal heights. And we would have to figure out which one would fall first and why. And what was your prediction? I said the baseball because obviously it's bigger so you'd think it would fall faster. Mm -hmm. But I was wrong. It was the ping pong ball because since the baseball is bigger, it has more air resistance that makes it that lift flows up, so so it, it slowed it down. Fall as fast, yeah. Very cool. And the ping pong ball has less, so it falls faster. That makes sense to me. In history, we just finished up the Revolutionary War, and we made a game like the memory card game. It was just like about people and battles and stuff. Did you get to play anybody yet? Uh, not yet. We're probably gonna play people next week, I think. Good luck. And in synergistics, we're learning about the technical design process and how to make instructions for things. We made a project out of um, pipe cleaners and foam board and different objects, and we had to create instructions, and then we're switching with the other 8th grade class, and we have to try to build their invention based off of their directions. Very cool. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for joining us this week for the Byron Intermediate School update. With all these great students here, I hope you were able to learn about what was going on this week, and we hope to see you again next week. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good job.